Hi guys, um, I thought I'd do a quick vlog, blog, vlog, whatever you call them. Um, I've never ever done one before and, uh, you know, I just, it's the night before the show so I thought if I'm going to do one, I'll do one now. Um, I've just been doing my ironing, but I'm bored of that. Rock and roll, eh, night before a show and I'm here doing my ironing, <laughs> talking to myself, bloody hell. To be, they were, you know, people think I'm mad anyway without bloody talking to myself. <laughs> so uh, I don't know how you do this, you know. It's hard. I feel, um, I feel a bit awkward um, talking to myself. So I don't even, I don't even know if I'm, if I'm gonna put this up to be honest. And and I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I've had um, how many attempts have I had? This is my third attempt, actually. So third time lucky. Uh, I want to do just a not. You know what I mean. I I want to do a, a continuous run. I'm not. I don't want to edit it. So this is me. If I don't get it, if I don't feel happy with it, it's it, it's not going on. I won't be happy with it anyway. But uh, yeah, because uh, I kept laughing at myself. Stupid. I know it sounds weird, like, but I just kept laughing at myself because I just kept thinking, "Who you're talking to?" It's like it's like I've got an imaginary friend in the shape of an iPad. <laughs> it's it is. It's strange. It's really weird. Um. So yeah, as I said, uh, we've got the show tomorrow. I'm just looking at me quiff. It's a bit. It's a bit uh droopy in it. Needs to sort it out. It'll be sorted out by tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I've got the show tomorrow. It'd be amazing. Look at my eyes. Absolutely shattered. I've been uh, rehearsing today. It's been a long day, actually. A good one. It's been a good one, but it's been a bit long, and it's been hard work. We've done we've done loads today, to be honest. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we went and got one out and got Mike's costume, so he's he's happy. We know what JP's wearing. Obviously, I'm wearing the cat suit, um, which is good. I don't mind wearing a cat suit to be honest. I'll wear I'll wear whatever. I'd go on stage in a friggin' bin bag. Me, I'm not bothered. Uh, as long as you know people were gonna like it. Well, to be honest, even if people weren't gonna like it, I'll probably wear it. Probably wear a bin bag anyway. But uh, yeah, so everything's sorted. JP just um, texted me before and he sent me a picture of what the front of the CD looks like. I mean, it's a promo night, so, you know, they're not top of the range, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, we're going to be selling CDs for a fiver, which is, you know, it's reasonable. And, uh, pardon me, I've got a bit of a... Um, and it's just something nice to have there. You know, people can have one if they want and it'd be nice. Uh, so, yeah, he sent me a picture of the front. And it had like um, all the songs on there and all the intro bits and stuff like that. And uh, it said at the bottom, all rights reserved, take the Cape Productions. And I was like, what? It's weird to, to think that we've got a CD. We've, we've, uh, we're on a CD, you know, and, and, you know, for me, on a personal note, it's like, I was, I would never have thought I'd be on a CD. Um... You know, it's just something that you dream about, even though it's just a little CD, whatever, you know, it's nice, it's a nice, for me, it's a nice achievement. And uh, I think we should all be very proud of ourselves for, for doing it, um, because, you know, we've we've done everything ourselves. You know, it's not been produced by Mr. Simon Cowell, you know what I mean? It's It's not been tamed or watered or, you know, it is what it is. The songs are what they are, and... Uh, for me personally, I like it, you know, and, and no one can be a bigger, like, you know, no one can give you, you know, the most criticism other than yourself. And, you know, if you like something that, you know, you didn't think you would like, it must be all right. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, to be honest. Uh, I'm not really too really clued up on all that shizzle. But, um, yeah, so I'm just chilling out now. Just getting in the zonage. Uh, but, yeah, it's like I said, it's weird, isn't it, talking to yourself? 
somewhere else I want to talk about. Yeah, uh, that was another thing. Uh, I don't know, it's like I've got a bloody script about talking. I don't know, oh, I fucking don't know. Look at my eyes, I'm bloody knackered. Look at the bags under my eyes. Um, yeah, so the show, Saturday night. Um, I just want to thank everyone, really, who's uh, bought a ticket. And even if it's not for this show, you know, even if it's future shows or last shows, whatever, you know, thank you so much. And I mean, I really, honest to God, mean that. You know, it does mean so much. It, You know, and even just watching the videos and things, it, it's amazing. And the comments that you make, it's just... It's just out of this world, and I, and I think, you know, it, I've been nice to people all my life. You know, I'm I'm a nice person, you know. People misjudge me sometimes, but um, I'm actually a really nice person. Like, I'm, I, fuck, I, fuck, I fucking sound like a right dick, don't I? But, um, you know, so it's nice that I can actually give something back now and be like, you know, to people, here's something for you guys, and... Uh, so it's nice that people like it, you know, because that's why we do it. We don't do it, f well, for me, like, I don't do it for my own satisfa sat uh, satisfaction. I do it to, to make other people smile and to make other people laugh. And if I just make one person laugh, then that's my job done. You know, so anything over one person uh, that's not my nan... Uh, <laughs> To laugh, like, it, it's amazing. Because uh, that's what I'm all about. I'm all about smiles. I'm all about the laughs. And uh, I think life sometimes is too serious. And, uh, you know, let's have fun. Even if life is serious, you know, laugh at it. Laugh, laugh at it, you know, and, and, and have a good time. Uh, obviously not to the extreme. But, uh, yeah, um... I've just got an itchy eye, sorry guys. Uh, yeah, so... I don't know. It's weird, I'm going on stage tomorrow. Singing songs. You know, singing a song, what I've wrote. and It's weird. You know, because my mum said to me once when I was younger, you can be whatever you want to be, love. You can be whatever you want to be. So I'd be like, yeah, I want to be famous and always be around singing and dancing. Even when I was free. I had this like toy piano and I'd be sat there wee, 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 wee. and must have drew like most kids would drive their mum mad um because I'm free I don't know how to play the piano never had a blue piano lesson don't know how to play the piano do I think I am bloody Beethoven and uh so my mum had got me this piano and I'd play this piano and she'd come in and be like what what are you singing there and I'd be like it's my song you know and I'd, I'd I'd be singing the same songs all the time. I wouldn't have wrote them, obviously, because I was free. Um, but I'd remember them and I'd be singing the same ones over and over again. I mean, some of them were probably fucking shit. But she said some of them were, you know, really nice songs. And she, you know, she'd be singing along with me to them. And, <laughs> you know, things like that. And uh, I just think, you know, from that age, I knew, I knew what I wanted to do. You know what I mean? I wanted to be on stage. I wanted to be entertaining, I wanted to be singing and dancing and making people laugh and smile. And now, years later, you know, that's what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, not being big-headed or anything like that, but, you know, my mum said to me, you can be whatever you want to be. And for a good few years, you know, well, all through high school, I believed her. I was like, yeah, I'm going to be famous, I'm just going to be famous because I can be what I want to be. And then, you know, she didn't say anything about working hard for it. <laughs> I fucking worked that out for myself, like, now. But at the time, I didn't know. And, uh... I just thought, you know, oh, the X Factor's real, and fucking Britain Got Talent's real, everything's real, and someone can spot you, and all that. Fucking bollocks. <laughs> and, uh... I was just gonna move around a little bit. <laughs> and, uh, I was like, um... You know... For a good few years after I left school and I got a job and stuff, I thought, Mum, you were talking shit. You can't be what you want to be in life. No way. Fuck that. I'm just going to have to put up with this life, what I've got now. You know, it's all right. You know, I can plod along with this. And I thought, 
No. There's nobody stopping me doing what I want to do. I just woke up one day and thought, who is actually stopping me doing what I want to do? No one. I'm just fucking pissed off it took me so long. And I thought, just do it for yourself, Burn. You know, change your life, make your own opportunities and go with the flow, bitches. Anyway, me and Mike had a conversation. He thought the same and we just put our thoughts together and... And that's that's where you know that's that's what take the cake is, that, that's what it is. It's two people with one goal, working with other people to get their goals, and you know, it's about sharing the love and 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 sharing the laughs and you know, like even if it was just five people watching my video, you know what I mean, or you know watching watching one of the videos, you know it's five people for me. I'd be like, oh my god, wow that's amazing but we've got like over 1500 subscribers and it's like what you know and we get comments and stuff it's amazing you know all, all you guys who who subscribe to take the cake or even you know just subscribe to this and watch this shit is a uh, you know thank you I, i'm i'm you know honest to god that it touches me not in weird places but it touches me uh, <laughs> And um, now I think it's amazing, and you know, I I I I want to give something back, and I don't know what it is yet. Um, it's not going to be chlamydia, so you know, don't get worried about that. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, joking. <laughs> no, I, I I don't know what it is yet, but I I'm going to give something back. Um, you know, but. Just thank you to anyone who supported us um, and who will carry on supporting us. And, you know, we try and cater for everyone. So you might not like every sketch, you know. I mean, who does, you know. But um, we're trying. We're, we're trying new things. We're getting better. We want to improve stuff. Um, and, you know, we do it for you guys. Like, like I said, it, it's, it's about... Even if I just make one person laugh every day, you know, I, I like it. I enjoy that. That's that's one thing in life I enjoy. I enjoy laughing and I, I enjoy I enjoy making people's day better. I, I enjoy that. That's what I like about it. That's, you know, and I think if you can do that, it's amazing. Like, my granddad, he was, he was funny, you know what I mean? He was really funny and he would just tell the stupidest jokes. Like, he, he would say to me and my brother every time he's seen us, he would say to me, have you been a good boy? And he would say to my brother, have you been a good girl? Like, stupid things like that, but make you laugh straight away. And it's like, even if you'd had a shit day, he would make you laugh, and, and you'd, even if you forgot for, like, two minutes what, what the shit was, it, you know, that was two minutes where you, where you were, you would forgot, do you know what I mean? Where you felt that like, little bit better through laughter. And I think not a lot, a lot of people laugh these days, and I think, you know, life is serious. Life just sometimes is too serious. And I think, yeah, just accept that it's serious. Get on with it, you know what I mean? Laugh at the seriousness of it. And as long as, you know, you're not you're not being a danger to people <laughs> by doing it, you know, obviously don't, like, cut someone's parachute cord because you think it's funny. Don't do anything like that. <laughs> but, you know, just, you know, have a smile a day. You know, like like the Mars bar advert, you know, Mars a day helps you work, rest and play. Like, just take the Mars bar bit out and just put laughter. Um, 